Okay, uh, XR6 Turbo, basically standard exhaust system. What I'm doing here is just, if you're like me and you're modifying one of these, you want to know what the standard parts look like, how they fit together, uh, if you don't have much experience with it, which I didn't, I've only just sort of learned about it. Uh, this is, if you've watched my other video, this is uh, had a port and flapper mod done on it. Okay, so it's got a bigger port and bigger flapper on it. That's your turbine housing. Obviously this is a standard exhaust manifold and this is the standard dump pipe. So everything's standard, just that this is how to put in flapper, otherwise this is how it is on every car. Uh, exhaust manifold, you flip it over, obviously that's the side that bolts onto your car. Have a bit of a look at it. This one looks like it's been painted. Just a crappy paint job, I think there's rust under it, it's probably just been painted to sell it because I, I didn't use the ones off my car, I've purchased all these parts and uh, have a bit of a look in there. I'm planning to uh, get these all ceramic coated and take my original parts off. That way I can do it and not have the car off the road and then I can sell my original parts again. So if you want to have a look at these bits, see what they look like when they're not on the car. This is obviously where you compressor housing bolts onto so that would come out here. The big sort of aluminium, I think it's aluminium part, the compressor housing. This is not, this is cast iron, I think. Anyway, that's that side of it. And there's your standard dump pipe. That's where it bolts up. That's where your exhaust connects onto. So I'm going to get all these ceramic coated inside and out to keep heat, reduce heat in the engine bay. That's the main reason. Keep the heat in them too. And stop it, stop it rusting. Um, what I'm going to do now is bolt these up, just so you can see how they go. Obviously, this here connects onto here, but um, no, it's hard to do this with one hand on the camera. That bolts onto there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to bolt all these together now, and I'll just show you how they go. So this one, this bolts onto here, obviously. Yeah. So I'm just going to bolt these together now. You can see them all as one system. Okay, so here it is bolted up, although quite loosely bolted up. But just to give you an idea of how it all looks when it's together. Oh, you can see it's a bit of a gap there in the fitting. There you go. Um, and that's, uh, I've just done them up loose. So yeah, your compressor housing will sit here. Um, and from photos I've seen, when it's on boost, this stuff can glow red hot. So, um, that's a lot of heat. Chill there, that would sit about there. So actually, this dump pipe actually sits quite close to the exhaust there as well. Um, and you've got all that, and then you've got your compressor housing here with your intake air going through, so there's a lot of opportunity to heat up the engine bay and the air intake which we don't like so I'm getting it all um, ceramic coated inside and out and hopefully that'll keep the engine bay temperature down or help to and with a few holes in the bonnet hopefully um, we'll keep a lot of the heat out cool so if you want to know what all it looks like fitted up that's it I'll turn it a little bit this way so you can see the reason why the actuator is hard to change on these is because of where it is. So the actuator will bolt up here and the rod will come down here and clip on here, which is bloody hard to get to when it's on the car, but very easy to do when it's off the car. So I'm going to do mine off the car. <laughs> Alright, hope that helps you. Bye.